Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So to start off with, I'd love to thank Renew Life for sponsoring today's video. Renew Life is a probiotic brand and probiotics are the good bacteria that we add to our body. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about the Woman's Care Gummy. So the Renew Life Woman's Care Probiotic Gummy is made for women by women. I've been taking a probiotic and I love that it has probiotics, prebiotics, and cranberry to help support your digestive, immune, and urinary health. It can also help relieve occasional bloating and occasional abdominal discomfort. If you guys are interested, make sure to click the link in the description box to learn more. Alright guys, so let's hop into the rest of today's video. Today is going to be a study with me video. I feel like I haven't done a full like true study with me video since my med school days, but I do have my practice board exams coming up next week. Um, and so I'm preparing for that right now. Essentially, after you're done with emergency medicine residency, you have to become board certified. And so every year during your residency, you take a practice board exam. So for the past week or so, I've really been going in and studying hard for that. So I'll take you along my day of studying today and I'm going to give you guys three tips that are helping me prepare for my practice board exam. All right, tip number one, do practice questions. Um, I think you guys know I preach this so much. Practice, practice, practice. Simulate that test taking environment. Get used to seeing the type of questions that may be asked on the exam. Um, reviewing is very important, but then just reinforce, reinforcing the topics with practice questions is very key to doing well on test taking. You guys have seen that from step one, step two, step three, now preparing for my board exams in the future. Practice exams is always a part of my study routine. And not only doing the practice questions, but really learning from those practice questions. So afterwards, going through all the answer choices and seeing where the right one is right and why the wrong ones are wrong really helps you learn and solidify that information. Um, as you're going, you can also take notes. Um, I have a little notebook pad right here. I can jot down some topics I want to review or some key points. Um, so let's jump into some practice questions for today. two about how I'm preparing for my practice board exam is by watching review videos to help me solidify topics that I may need refreshers on or that I may be weaker on. Um, these days there's so many resources out there to study um, whether that's for board exams, in-service exams which is what I'm taking and it's important not to get resource overloaded so just pick a few key ones that really help you. There's a few that I really like and one of them is an the educational video one that has pretty much covers all of the organ systems and with emergency medicine we truly do have to know all of the organ systems. Um, eye pathology is an area that I need um, some improvement on so today I'm going to cover some some eye videos as well as some neurology videos. Um, again, this is just another way to review information. Sometimes you get that information spoon fed through videos. Sometimes you can do review books or you can do practice questions. But I love um, having educational topics kind of broken down um, as opposed to reading all day um, or other forms of obtaining information. <music> final study location of the day, I decided to switch up a bit and come to a coffee shop. And my third and final tip for how I'm preparing for my um, practice board exam is to read the textbook. But sometimes you just have to get down to the nitty gritty and know those little details. And that's when a textbook can come into place. When it comes to reading textbooks, it can be easy to get into a cycle of reading and rereading without even truly processing the information. An important tip when it comes to reading the textbook is trying the Pomodoro method. It's a time management system which helps you break down your study session. You'll study or read for a 25 minute increment, then take a five minute break. Then come back and read for another 25 minutes and take another five minute break. 
After you've done that for a stretch of about four times, you'll then take a longer 15 to 20 minute break. This allows you to get refreshed when studying and to see things with a new set of eyes. And you can break down your study days so that you're not so exhausted by the end of it. All right guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my study day. Um, my exam is one week away. I think the good thing about this exam, I'm a little bit more relaxed because it's not like dire pass fail. It's not my true board exam yet, but it is a practice one. So the important thing is you wanna see improvement from your first year to your second year to your third year. Um, but yeah, those are my three study tips that have been helping me prepare practice question watching some kind of interactive video and then getting down to the nitty-gritty and just reading the textbook um, I'm trusting that I've put in enough work over the past couple of weeks to do well on this exam if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one